Data Transmission Modes Learning Outcomes At the end of this section, you should be able to Explain Data Transmission Mode Define Modem List the different types of modem Define Network List the different types of network There are three transmission modes Simplex Full Duplex and a half duplex. Simplex channel allows data to flow in only one direction, much like a one-way street, therefore sending information slowly. An example of this type of communication occurs between the keyboard to the computer system or between the radio station and your radio at home. Half duplex. A half-duplex channel is much like a one-lane bridge where traffic on either side must give way for the other to cross. Only one end can transmit at a time, while the other end receives as in a walkie-talkie or two-way radios. Full duplex. Full duplex allows data to travel in both directions at the same time. It is like a two-lane bridge or a two-lane roadway. This occurs with telephones or cell phones. Modem. What is a modem? A modem is an abbreviation for modulator or demodulator. This is a device that converts or modulates digital signals from a computer to analog signals so that the data may be sent to another computer through telephone lines. The modem can also convert or demodulate analog signals received from the telephone line into digital signals that the computer can use. Modems are classified by the amount of data they can send in a given time, which is usually measured in bits per second or BPS. Types of Modem there are two types of modem, internal and external. Internal modem found inside your computer system and is very slow. External modem found outside of your system unit and is very fast. Networks. Just as human communication takes place in groups of two or more persons, so does communication among computers. Communication among computers occurs in groups referred to as network. A network is a collection of computers and devices connected with or without wires or cables to send and receive information. Many businesses network their computers to share hardware, data, information, software, and communicate. Types of networks. Networks are usually classified by distance of coverage. Local area networks, or LANs. Metropolitan area network, MAN. Wide area networks, WANs. Local area network, LAN. A local area network LAN is a computer network covering a small geographic area, like a home, school, office, or groups of buildings in one location. Metropolitan Area Network MAN A metropolitan area network MAN is a high-speed network that consists of local area networks in a metropolitan area, such as a city or town, and handles the bulk of communications activity across that region. Wide Area Network, WAN Wide Area Network, WAN, is a network that covers a broad area, such as a city, country, or the world, 
using a communications channel that combines many types of media, such as telephone lines, cables, and radio waves. A WAN can be one large network or can consist of two or more LANs or MANs connected together. The Internet is the world's largest wide area network. Let's review. The three types of data transmission modes are simplex, full duplex, and half duplex. Simplex channel allows data to flow in only one direction. Half duplex channel allows data to flow in both directions, but only one direction at a time. Full duplex allows data to travel in both directions at the same time. A modem is a device that converts or modulates digital signals from a computer to analog signals so that the data may be sent to another computer through telephone lines. The modem can also convert or demodulate analog signals received from the telephone line into digital signals that the computer can use. There are two types of modem internal and external. A network is a collection of computers and devices connected with or without wires or cables to send and receive information. The three types of network are local area networks LANs, metropolitan area networks MAN, wide area networks WANs.